Mr. Teller. I'm here to talk to you about the possibility of automating our library. Thanks, Mr. President. I'll be glad to listen to what you have to say about this automation. I'm sure it'll save us a lot of money. Well, we won't actually save any money by automating the library. In fact, it will cost us some money because we need to obtain additional computer hardware and software. So we don't automate to save money. The reason we automate is so that we can offer improved library services through increased accuracy and efficiency. Now I've researched the library literature to see if it would be in our school's best interest to automate. I've consulted some library journals like Library Journal and Library Technology Reports. I also participate in a LNNet listserv. It's a discussion group for librarians and there's been a lot of discussion lately on the listserv about automation, but I got most of my information about automating from a book, a textbook from one of my library science classes at Sam Houston. It's called Automating Media Centers and Small Libraries by Daniel Bilal. Now the book suggested that I start by conducting a needs assessment to analyze and evaluate the various functions of our library, and that's what I did. And uh, what did you learn from these assessments? I evaluated our workflow patterns in each function, and I also compiled quantitative data about each function using the, uh, the tables that it recommended from the textbook. Our circulation function is time consuming. When students bring an item, such as this book, to be checked out, they remove the checkout card from the book and sign the card. Ms. Taylor or I then stamp the card with the date due and file the checkout card in the checkout box. As you know, this past year, we started checking out books to pre-K and kindergarten students. Many of them can't write their names yet, and even the first graders have a hard time fitting their name on these tiny little lines. And we always have to remind even the older students to be sure and put their last name on the card to help us with filing. You see, when the book is returned, we pull the card from the checkout box to return to the book before we place it on the shelf. Misfiled cards can present a time-consuming problem. Sometimes I've had to go through the entire box of cards just to find one misfiled card. The cataloging function is tedious and labor-intensive. For each new book that we add, I have to make at least three cards for the card catalog. Each book needs a title card, an author card, and at least one subject card. Most books should have more than one subject card. And I'm sure that many inaccuracies exist since I prepare the cards myself. Then I have to make call number labels to attach to the spine of the book. The inventory function is extremely time consuming. You know I spend half my summer up at the school taking the inventory. I have to match each of the shelf list cards to an item on the bookshelf. After that, I document the discrepancies that I find between the cards and the items on the shelves. And then I prepare an inventory report using the computer. This function is probably the most inefficient. Well, I never realized all the steps involved in getting a book ready to put on the shelves. Also, I never thought about what you librarians did with the checkout cards after the books are checked out. So I think automating your library would probably save you and your age a lot of time. Can you get us a couple of bids so we can hurry up and get started? Well, as much as I would like to get started right away, we need to spend some time evaluating the different companies that provide law library automation systems so that we can select the one that best suits our specific needs. I read profiles and reviews of the automation companies, and I've read about them in the library science journals that I showed you earlier. But now I'd like to have representatives from six different software companies to come here so that I can ask them specific questions about their packages. That's the recommendation that was made in the textbook. I've shared my findings with our library aide, Ms. Taylor, but I'd also like to include some other staff members like the lead reading teacher and our technology coordinator and create an official technology and automation advisory committee. That sounds good to me. After you've talked to these people, uh, can you get back with them? Yes, sir, I will. Good.